How to organize your computer desktop. Keeping a computer desktop organized is tough, but clutter can quickly and easily become a thing of the past. You will need a computer and a desire to keep it organized. Step one, create a new folder on your desktop and add all the documents currently located on your desktop to it, including application launchers. You don't need application launchers on your desktop to launch programs. It's faster to launch applications using the Windows Start menu or your keyboard. Step two, create an inbox folder for recent items you haven't yet had a chance to look at. When you do go through it, you'll either resolve the item or place it into one of the next four folders. Step three, create an actions folder. The actions folder is for items that you plan to tackle within the next few days, but they take between 15 minutes and an hour to complete. If you can take care of an item in your inbox in less time, do it immediately. Step four, create an incubate folder for items you have decided to put off for more than a few days. Step five, create a folder and give it the name current projects. The current projects folder is for all the documents related to long-term projects you are currently working on. Step six, create a folder and give it the name archive. The archive folder is for everything you have finished working on but don't want to delete. Consider moving this off your desktop and into the hard drive. Step seven, Go to the first folder you created with all your desktop documents in it. Examine each document and move it into one of the five new folders. Step eight, keep your desktop clean by changing your browser settings so that the attachments download to your inbox rather than to your desktop. When downloading programs, choose the folder where you want to store the program so that an icon for it doesn't automatically land on your desktop. Step nine, diligently maintain this system by consistently moving your documents into one of the five folders. Did you know? Storing too many files on your desktop can cause your computer to perform erratically. 